It's Saturday the 19th of August and it's just gone past nine o'clock. I'm getting picked up at about half past 10, I think, by Tony and driver Jimmy. But before that, I have a little idea. In the last away game, a fan came up to Guesty with the same glasses on that he was wearing. And he told Guesty, I bought them because of you. So I'm thinking, maybe I need an accessory myself. My name is Gavin, I'm the Burrow Fan Cameraman. Welcome to the vlog, day for it. We're just setting off to the city ground, which is Nottingham Forest Stadium. It's about 120 miles away, maybe a bit over. Um, so it should only take us about two hours. Tone, do you want to say anything for the camera? Yeah, where have you been? I've, I've been busy. I've been, had, what have you been doing? I've, I've been busy, okay? You'll, you'll see, you'll tell see. Tell us what you've been doing. You can, you can watch the vlog and you can see, okay? Cal, tell us what you've been doing. Tell me and Jim where you've been. I've been, tra I've, I've been trying on skirts. Have you been putting the skirt on? <laughs> Tony, what I spy with my little eye something begin with R. It's not road job, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> it was quite a wild day for weather. First it was sunny, then it was raining, then it was sunny, then it was raining. It was crazy. Right here we are in the services. Uh, we're only what a couple of minutes away now. That's it's like right. next jun junction, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So maybe ten minutes away or something like that. But um, Tony, I mean, what are you thinking about today? How's it gone up to now? I mean, it's, it's been a bit boring, hasn't it? The, the whole so travel, so travel is boring. Yeah. yeah, the travel is, but it was dead late this morning as well. So, what do you think of? Uh, today's game, are you, are you hoping for a win or? Uh, uh, yeah, obviously I'm hoping for a win, but a, a draw would be nice. Mm. I, I wouldn't be too concerned if we came away from a point. With a point. Any point away from home's good. I think that's. I think that's what I'm thinking more yeah. of. I mean, obviously I'd love a win, but, but in, in this league, a win, a win wins uh, massively important. You, you can't just rely on your own form in this league. Yeah, you do have to start and take three points away from home. So as Tony said, we've done what we've needed to at the service station and now we're going to travel the rest of the way to the Nottingham Forest Stadium. Hopefully I don't need another jolly cash. He probably will though, yeah. baby bladder and all. <laughs> so Tony, am I uh, getting in the front? Again? Again. Why do you want to be in the front, Gav? Because I want to sit next to Jimmy. Go on, my best friend. Hey Tony, what do you think of this wide load? Wide gap. On a scale of 1 to 10, how lost are we? Uh, 11. <laughs> we finally made it to Nottingham. 
and we are parked in the cricket ground apparently or very close to it anyway i think it's only a short walk to the football club and that's what we're going to do now so we made it to the ground it turns out someone forgot to pick up the tickets Tony's heading for another toilet break. Right, so we've got parked up. Um, we're heading down to the uh, stadium now, but we're not really sure of which entrance we're meant to take. No, Tony? it's, it's like you said, it's a good old fashioned football stadium in the monster houses. Mm -hmm. uh, but like you say, a lot of tradition at this ground. Well, that's the thing. Of, I, I, this I, I think a lot of people don't realise this. Uh, the stadium is actually semi-detached. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So. <laughs> As you all are aware, we do stadium reviews of away stadiums. So, Tony, how far away was the stadium? From our house, 128 miles, I believe. 128 miles, that means minus 120 points. Started raining again, minus 80 points. What do you think about the atmosphere today? Absolutely amazing. The atmosphere down in the concourse is a million times better than what it was at Wolves. I agree. I absolutely so, agree. A couple of wins, crowd, the fans are really up for it now. And like you say, it's an old tired ground this, but I think the Borough fans are going to bring it to life this afternoon. I really love the way that the stadium looked, but the city ground is a terrible name. Minus 28 points. Also, the soul put the pies for 350, and there were no palmos in the bun. Tony, what's up? What the hell's their mascot? God, I don't know. <laughs> it's a big fatty thing with a flag. <laughs> oh, got a clone mess. Uh, the forest fox are foggy. The forest fluffy thing. I don't know. <laughs> Here we are at half time, we are 1 0 down. Guess see what's going on? I don't know, Gav. I don't know. All the positives from the home game. I don't want to be negative, I don't want to come on here and be negative. But mm. Whatever the system is, it's not working. This is a second away game, it's not working. The second away game we've been done through the middle. It wasn't yeah. a brilliant ball, you know, it cut our centre halves in two. Mm. That's, well, they're not close enough to be cut in two, but we've been done again through the middle. How about, how about our midfield? Uh, non-existent, still very pedestrian, still no, no, no movement, no, there's no speed in the passing or nothing, you know. You can see the strikers making the runs, but the best thought that's coming into the midfield is Ed, is to turn around and pass it sideways or backwards. So, do you think we're going to get a goal today? Or what? But, well, towards the end of the second half there, we've got a couple of good chances. Asan Belonga should have definitely scored. Mm. I think Bamford should have scored, but then obviously the keeper pulled off a great save. Mm. You know, but I think he still that save was have... probably yeah. the highlight of the game, to be honest. Yeah, I yeah. think it was amazing. So, the chances are starting to come. So, 
hopefully, if we can, like you say, if we can get away with the draw, the way we're playing, I'll be happy. On the evidence of the last 10 minutes of the second half, yeah, I can feel a goal coming, you know. So, hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll grab some of Grab some of us from home, so I'm happy. Right. That's all happened. That doesn't matter, this girl. Yeah, exactly. Happy. Exactly. Well, you, me and you. Doesn't matter about anyone else, just me and you. I don't know about you. I'm a bother about you. Follow me. Every time now. I don't know what it is. Twenty minutes left. Need to leave to go and get the equipment for Tony as usual. It's all burr at the moment. I really don't want to leave. This is probably the game that I, I don't want to leave on the most. Um, let's hope we get a goal in that time. I'm pretty sure we will. Though. So it didn't take long. Um, I think someone's just scored, and it sounds like it was the home team who scored. I'm guessing a penalty because we've just we we just heard a massive yell and then a cheer. But I'm guessing that was a penalty and now it's a goal. Right, we're just about to get uh, the interview Hi, sorted. Uh, Tony's trying to get some people over. Um, oh, but it looks like uh, they scored oh, another goal, ready? as I say. Might have been a penalty, that's what I'm guessing at. And then it looks like Borough's gone through and scored one back. So there's seven minutes left. It's 2-1. Let's hope for a draw. Screw that anyway. Let's hope for a win. At this point in time, we did the interviews. If you haven't seen them yet, go on our YouTube channel and take a look. The interviews are over, um, but we didn't get enough, to be honest. There was not many fans who wanted to say much to us. Uh, we probably got more Nottingham Forest fans who were actually speaking to us. So, the plan is to hit a service station on the way back and see if we can find any Borough fans who have something to say. I think it's cost, like you're saying, it's the start of the rain. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they've all cleared them out, you see. Yeah. Even, even that, I, I went this way, I purposely went out. I went to the barbers, I said, cut me here like bungers. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, Got a bunger special. Yeah. And made it look a bit scruffy, but. <laughs> so, so, do you think that's what it is? You scared them off? Is yeah, that what you're telling yeah. me? You know, so disappointing. I've had my hair cut. <laughs> Back on the road after doing some interviews at the services. Uh, we've got about a 40 minute drive, I think, but we should be home soon. Hi, Tone. As always. Oh, thank God. I thought we'd left you at Weatherby. <laughs> As always, we're looking for a final thought from um, the face of Borough Fan TV. What did you think of today, Tony? Today, I had a better day than what we did when we went down to Wolves. Fan seems a bit more comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, once again, you go down there feeling positive, like you say, a point of the done. But, like you say, we've come away with absolutely nothing again. Not Forest. We're a lot sharper, a lot quicker. A lot more determined than what we were in the first half, and whether that, because of the way they started, we showed them a bit too much respect. Till we, obviously, five minutes before half time, we had two good chances to get level. Uh, missed them. Like you say, went out at half time. Fans again, 50 50 really, some down, some angry, but some, like you say, quite pessimistic you know that it will come good you know we thought an early goal in the second half we would have been able to get take three points but because of the missed chances and the frustration of the missed chances the crowd stayed with the borough right till the end but you could feel the frustration in the crowd so whether that was getting down to the players on the pitch I'm, I'm not sure because two of them chances should have been put away Go edit your edits <laughs> and vlog your blog. <laughs> vlog your blog. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks very much right, again. Go. See you later. See you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Adios. <laughs> this is Tony Guest, a Butterfan TV. Go on home. What an idiot. <laughs>